Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I am Mrs. Gordon, and I am so glad you are back with me to learn new things. Today, we are going to talk about ordinal numbers. Now you might say, Mrs. Gordon, what is ordinal numbers? You already know how to count one, two, three. There's different names in relationships to numbers as well. So I would like for you to grab any materials you have. If you have flashcards, you can write your own numbers. Anything you have that can help us talk about ordinal numbers. Grab your stuff and let's get started. I have my numbers one through 10. First, let's count these numbers and then let's figure out the relationship of how it can be said differently. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I have numbers one through ten. This is how we can say one in a different way. We can say first. First, have you ever been first in line or first to win a race? One can also be known as first. Two can also be said second. Second, first, second. You might have been second in line or the second one to grab an item. Second. Three. We also can say three as third. Third. First, second, third. Four. Four can also be said as fourth. Fourth. Have you ever been fourth in doing something? Or are you the fourth child in a family? Fourth. First, second, third, fourth. I have five. Another way to say five is fifth. Fifth. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Six. You also can say six as sixth. Are you sixth place in the line? Or are you sixth place to put an object in order? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Seven. Another way to say seventh is seventh. Seventh, you can be the seventh person. Eight, another way to say eight is eighth. We have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Nine. Another way to say nine is ninth. Ninth. Sometimes we can say these numbers with our calendar. It can be December 9th or January 9th. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Our last number, 10, it can be also said as 10th, 10th. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th. 
Our numbers one through 10 can be said as counting numbers, but also in ordinal numbers from first to 10th. Now I have some animals here. I would like for you to help me put these in order. I'm gonna leave my numbers here. I have 10 animals that I would like to put in order. I have an elephant. I like to put this elephant first because I look at this as a big leader. First. I have a zebra. The zebra is going to be second. Second. And then I have a penguin. The penguin is third. The penguin's third in line. Then I have an armadillo. The armadillo is gonna be fourth, fourth. Elephant is first, zebra is second, penguin is third, the armadillo is fourth. Hmm, I don't think I put my panda fifth. Fifth place in line. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. I have an alligator. He's going to be sixth in line sixth in line. I have a koala bear. The koala bear is going to be seventh in line. Seventh. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. I have a rabbit. Mr. Rabbit's going to be eighth in line eighth in line. Then I have a baby deer. This deer is ninth in line. Ninth. My last first animal is a snake. He's the last one. Tenth in line. Tenth in line. I put all of my animals in order from first to 10th. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th. Do you have any animals or Legos or blocks or beads or anything that you can put in order? Try to put them from first to tenth. You did such great work today. I hope you learned a lot about ordinal numbers. Grab your nearest adult and see if you can help them. They can help you write first, second, or third, fourth, or fifth. See if you can put some other items in order. And I hope you had fun today. And until next time, I wish you well.